Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 62, recorded on July 29th, 2019. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. And I'm Agent Dewey J. What? Who yeah, is this? Yeah, we've got a resistance in here. God, it's going to come to a crashing halt. I don't know what we're going to do. We've got a uh, guest host tonight, Agent Dewey J., uh, straight from Myriad Anomaly in Madison, and barely, barely uh, survived. Agent Zelly Belly will be away tonight. She's she's got some uh, family stuff she's she's attending, so um, we'll miss her, of course. But we won't miss the show like we have since I just changed the date from July eighth was when we were supposed to do the last episode. She should start doing it monthly. Make your life easy. That's, that's what we've uh, talked about. Um, oh. Hopefully that will change soon. I'm, I'm um, currently at, at my uh, job, my daily thing. We're uh, hot and heavy working on a whole new website, and it's, it's uh, taking a lot of time. And normally when I can come home and get the show notes done a little bit early on Mondays, uh, it was... It wasn't so stressful. I could come home a little bit early, start on the show notes, go eat dinner with my family, and then come in and do the show and be ready. Now it's like I get home and it's barely time to even do show notes, so it was just getting a little a little hect- hectic and with the summer hours and stuff. So sorry for no show. Hopefully we'll be able to do it more often. We're going to try to add some guest hosts on, and um, like Dewey J here. Yep. So, hey, if you don't mind having a little blue hue to your notes, I can help that out. No, that's great. It's it's actually really <laughs> good. Like I actually switch the the UI on, on the live stream. For those listening to audio, you can't see this, but for the live stream, now I can put me over on the green side and you over on the blue side, which is nice because you had me green to start with, and I was just about ready to walk out. Right, and uh, <laughs> we can change that whenever you want. No, just, that's fine. Put blue hue is good. Uh, you you uh, like the green though, right? Uh, yeah, I love to kill green. Ah, what's wrong? Great, now I'm gonna throw me on my faction. Thanks. <laughs> They'd never do that. Never. I think I'm a mole. Uh, but like this week, it, I've been uh, I've gotten a little bit of ingress in, not as much as I'd like to. I think uh, last I looked, I only did about a hundred, hundred and twenty k. I think, which is way below where I need to be for my goal though i'm ahead of my goal in overall so that's mm-hmm. good that's not bad that's not bad at least at least you, you did you lose your sojourner oh i i mean i after i got it i think i got to like 40 something days and then and it said something it. happened and i didn't hack so that's where it's gonna stay yeah, okay so, but it's nice not worrying about it because when I was yeah. worrying about it, it was like I had a gallbladder surgery and had to ask my wife to drive me down to the closest <laughs> portal uh, to hack it, and she was like, "You're crazy! Like, what is wrong with you? Like, you know what uh, sucks? I, I've got a portal that's literally a block from me, less yeah. than a block. I miss it. You know, I'm like, oh crap! I go by three times and forget to do it." Yeah, especially in like holidays or the, just those days when you get super busy and it's yeah. just like it doesn't even cross your mind. But when you're so many days in and even like there was one day my wife had to work and couldn't take me down there and I walked and it and it's it's about a mile and a half there and back, um, you know. And that was two days after having surgery. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, that's what Niantic wants you to do is to get up and move. So right, it probably was good for me. No, that's that's my life. And I know you had a busy week yeah. going going to the anomaly. Anything else this week? Because we'll uh, we'll be talking well, about the anomaly. Yeah, I spent a lot of time at the 
getting ready for the anomaly, doing something I don't usually do, which is farm. Um, and I did a lot of what I usually do, which is beg. Uh, <laughs> so I owe a lot of people a lot of favors and, and uh, whatnot so just to get all the gear that we thought we would need. And, you know, it's like most anomalies that you go to, you just load up on all this gear, and then you get to the end, you're like, why do I have 500 L8 bursters left? Yeah. You know, but you never know. If you need it, you, you have it. So, um, And, you know, just some some life stuff is a little different for me. I uh, in the process of retiring, so uh, I had a strange thing. I had to, a little bit of an argument with my past employer and my retirement people because they were going to give me two checks nope. in <laughs> August. And I, I was like, okay and i'm like i don't want to be breaking the law i don't want to go to jail and they're like no that's how it works i'm like are you sure Unless somebody come back later and say you know you got to check while you're working for the retirement people but evidently that's how it works so i don't i'm not going to argue that much with it yeah no yeah. I, I would i mean if if you have issues with it i can send you my address okay just mail it <laughs> I'll, on I'll wire it to you. <laughs> that and uh just you know talking the wife into going up to madison with me and what all i had to do for her so after right. after the anomaly and, and mission days, I ended up driving straight over to Milwaukee, and then uh, spending the day watching her spending my money, and then driving home. So, <laughs> and now it's like you get home and and uh, she's like, "Good, no ingress stuff." For oh, you got a podcast tonight? Yeah, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, I gotta I gotta do these show notes. You know, Eleven <laughs> o'clock at night, she's asleep next to me. I'm in, you know, got the laptop in the bed with just a little bit of light, typing these things out before I forget them. Uh. Well, we appreciate it because yeah. it's, it's not as good a show when I'm just sitting here by myself reading off news. That's better than me sitting here by myself. <laughs> I don't know. It's close. Yeah. It'll be close. But be close. the other thing is uh, it's it's um, a lot of news since we haven't been around for a while. So pretty much that's going to be the whole show is news and anomaly and stuff. So mm-hmm. we will get to all your, your comments and stuff in... Okay. Uh, next show, show after this, unless there's a ton more news. Well, you never know. We'll just have to see. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move on over into this sit, 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 situation report. We've got a ton of myriad stuff, and I know that uh, you went, and you'll be talking about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, starting off, we did have a global hack challenge. Yep. That we we did in like I don't know what a couple days. Yeah, we we got I think we ended up getting double and more, but I think we got the thirteen million and I think it was like three days or something like that. And it was it was weird because when they first started, the people were like, oh, there's no way we're going to make thirteen million and it's going to be terrible. And then the first measurement came out, and I think it was like what six million or something already, five million or something. So you know we knew it was going to be all right at that point. So, yeah, and I I, I think. Uh, at the end, we hit twenty nine million one hundred twenty four thousand five hundred eighty eight unique hacks, and we finished it in eight days. And we had it looks like twenty three days to do it in. So good job, everyone. Yep, good job. Except for me, I only got the first badge, but you know, pictures in the scanner. I you yeah. Know, I I think that's actually easier for. We were talking about this. That's kind of easier for some agents and others because, like where you're at it's not difficult for you to go around a couple hundred portals. You know, for me, I can get a hundred portals and then I got to drive 30 miles and then there's 50 portals and then I got to drive 50 miles and then there's, you know, 50 portals. So it's a little harder on the, on those rural agents, the, the guys in the city, you know, it's, it's, you don't have to travel as far, but I'm sure that you're hoofing it to get all those portals. Yeah. So it was, it was a little different. The one before where you had the links, that was easy for us because, you know, there's nothing in our way. So we could just, wing links wherever yeah yeah no i um huntsville's a little different than like other cities the same size like we're a really spread out city Mm. so we don't really have any big concentrations of portals like our our biggest like farm areas are like five portals that are (laughs) like close enough to a farm without having to you know go down another block or something yeah um and there's like two of those and, and one of them, actually, uh, I'm saying Huntsville, is really in Madison, which is right next door. Mm-hmm. So, like, I did, like, one day of really going out and driving probably for six hours or so. Uh, and I still ended up with only, like, 200 and something. I forget the end number. Oh, I have. And I feel bad. 200. And I'd <laughs> planned to drive to, like, the next city over. 
and get the, you know i would have to drive another five hours there to get another hundred portals because it's so spread out so i mean i agree i think there's a there's a big uh, difference between you know being downtown philadelphia say <laughs> which yeah. is probably five thousand portals right there alone and you could walk around in, in that same amount of time and and probably get the 750. Now, if you're in a rural area i mean you, you search out those things like uh a college or a university there's usually a whole bunch there yeah. or maybe you know some historical town like down the road from us is vandalia which was the first state capital so they have all these you know historical sites all over the place that nobody ever sees but they're all portals yeah so you just have to kind of know where to go to get them yeah and a, and a good way to find it out is the uh the mission creator tool oh yeah uh, yeah just, that's that's an excellent tool and just make sure you turn off the the uh field trip spots I don't know if that's going to go away with field trip. We'll talk about that um, later. I don't think it will, but it may. Uh, but if you have the field trip ones on, you, they will show up, and you'll think there's a lot more portals in an area than there are. Uh, but the, yeah, that's how I was like looking for you know the pockets. Like I know most of the area here, but I was looking for like I don't know something because I I, I did want to at least get you know the second badge, but ended up with only the first. Well, wah, the, other thing, uh, the other thing we were talking about is, well, this is a really good time to not only do that or, and to get your uniques. So we're like, okay, I've been through you know this college, this university. Uh, there's one a little further away, and I haven't really been on campus there, so let's double up on that. And so we had a number of agents that did that. So they would travel an hour to go to a college or university that they've never been on, but you know they they walk away with 300 portals. Right. Yeah. So, but it's... You know, events are good. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, I'm hoping they come up with some events that, that kind of even it out. That, like, the big yeah. cities are like, man, I wish I lived out in the rural area. <laughs> like, I don't even know how you could do that. But, hey, try. Anyway, for winning and doing that, we have a event going on. It's uh, going on right now. Mm -hmm. Now, in the, the actual rules, and we'll link to all these links that we're talking about in the show notes. But in the rules, it says the first part where you uh, hack four minutes instead of five, yeah. that it started today. And then it says on the first starts the double eights. But I, I saw people saying that it had already started. So I assume that was just a typo in the original. Yeah, that might be. I know they had a little trouble getting it started, too, uh, yeah. because they were a little late. And so we had a couple, couple people in our telegram that were saying hey it's not working it's not working uh so it looks like that they pushed it off and they're going to go a little bit later is that they're going to quit it later yeah they're going to add uh, two and a half hours uh due to the delay so that's kind of cool yeah now if it's the two and a half hours at like 3 a.m in the morning <laughs> oh well but it's, it's some, good for some people it's be 3 a.m right it's gonna be 3 a.m well and and the discussion we kind of had about that is uh you know, what happens if you put um, a heat sink on there? You know, is that heat sink, you know, is, is it just taking it down the time or is it a percentage deal? Which I haven't played with that to find out. I just assume it's just a, you know, amount of time that it goes off. But it would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I, my kind of first impression would be that it would be a percentage, that it would just be, yeah. it would reduce it from four minutes. So, or you would just see, like, almost no return for you know the first ones but yeah um so yeah there's that and you'll be able to add uh two eights two sevens quad fives and sixes but you yeah. know you may be adding quad fives i guess or well, quad nice sixes is, you only have to collect three other people and then you can get that la portal and build that farm so that you can you know work it until you forget to charge the darn thing and then it's dead but yeah so and, that, and that's the thing. I wonder: are are you going to be going around with uh, friends and making level eights everywhere you can? Yeah, yeah, I think we are. I mean, like I said, about here in the middle of nowhere, the the farms are kind of hard to come by. So we look for those places where there's three or four portals because that's all there really is that are within range, and you can make those three eights there. There, and you know, you can Edo plus one and Edo minus another one, and then just do another one that's a high speed hack. Um, and then you can say, okay, I, I need some weapons, so I hit this one, or I need some shields and stuff, I can hit that one, or you know, just you know, start collecting all of them. Yeah, and I guess I guess you could could you flip no? Yeah, it'd be faster. I mean, if you have just a couple, you can you know flip it and 
-hmm. get some more eights on it that way. But but now that you got doubles, you, you four people can make an eight. Yeah. So. You have four friends. I don't have four friends. Well, I got three. That's <laughs> three all I need. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll call some spoofer and have him come in and do it. Uh -oh. He'll probably be a green guy. Uh-oh. Hey, now. <laughs> Knew it happened. Uh, also, uh, there was a blog post on Niantic Labs' website about Field Trip. It's being re retired. And mm -hmm. as you know, Field Trip's kind of one of their first uh, apps to highlight local areas. And there, there was a lot of kind of integration between ingress and, and field trip with, with portals and, and whatnot and there's they were in missions so yeah. if you were in the mission creator you could actually make missions using, using the field trips yeah this weekend was the first time I ever came across a mission that had a field trip spot in it mm -hmm. and it, it kind of confused me at first like okay do I hack it do I run it over what do I do you know got near enough I guess it clicked off and I went on my on my way so yeah it yeah, almost makes I, them easier right yeah, it does. I mean, all you got to do is walk to it and pink and you go on. Uh, but, yeah, I guess they're going to keep that in those missions. Field trip shuts down. They is are. Kind of and Andrew uh, mentioned in his Telegram channel that that the at least the word around the office was that it would not impact the mission creator at all. Okay. So my guess is they imported that data in there, and it's just in the database, and unless they clean it out, it's just going to be sitting there. So no reason to... Uh, mess with it. Yeah, because it would screw up like, a couple of the uh, missions that I did had like two of them in it. So yeah. now you'd have a mission that would have four portals. and it's Yeah, would it's be real easy. That, and that's yeah. one thing I see over and over again in, in different places, people asking about missions that have uh, portals that are gone. And it, you know, uh, it yeah. looks like whatever, but they just don't count. Like, just do the rest of the, the mission and you'll get credit for it. So it actually makes the mission easier if the portal's not yeah. there. So uh, then you end up with a mission that's one portal. Because <laughs> <laughs> heck, I guess I got that. I got that one. Now I wonder if you could go in, say, if you had a mission that had seven portals in it, and six were gone, and you went into that mission and deleted the one portal that was actually there. Ooh. Would everybody just get it if they started it? <laughs> could you? Uh, that's. Could you start it anywhere and get it? I'll have to see. I'll ask around in our Telegram if anybody knows of a, a one portal <laughs> mission, and we'll try that out. I haven't heard of one. Uh, I mean, I guess they would have to approve it, so it'd have to slip by them as well. Saying yeah. that, well, this is a weird one. Okay, well. Yeah. Well, well, we have seen some portals disappear. I had a. Uh, we had a guy that was doing an operation, and uh, he was headed to a portal that they were using, and it, like, disappeared. He's like, no, it's not there. They're like, what do you mean it's not there? No, it, they just got rid of that portal. And it just really screwed things up. <laughs> that was our anchor. That was our anchor. It was. It was, an, it was one of the anchors. Uh, oh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's how Smurfs plan things, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's the way we do it. <laughs> Um, also, speaking of Andrew Krug, uh, the two July AMA questions are out. They've been out <laughs> for a bit now. Some of this news will be old because it was in the doc earlier. But I did want to report on one of the, the Q&As there. Uh, Kersha? Karisha? I'm not sure how you say that. But asked, uh, when can we expect Field Test? A series of experimental events. What will it be? And that was announced uh, quite a while ago. Mm -hmm. And we haven't heard anything about it until now. And and Andrew responded with with their uh, events team said that the first field test events are most likely going to be in September. And this will be something where cities will apply for them. So I guess this is some new form of like mission day or something. So it'll be. Yeah, like, I was going to ask what what they might be doing. For field tests. Yeah. So, uh, who? To me, it sounds like maybe it could be like a mini anomaly that's mm -hmm. run by a local group. That'd be cool. Which might be cool. So, yeah. can't wait to see more about that because there's supposed to be more information in July, and July is almost gone. 
we were talking about if Nemesis are really screwing with things, maybe they'll have a, a short event where they just randomly flip people. So who knows? You could be a Smurf for a day. Dope. <laughs> Wouldn't that screw things up? I uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, a darn Nemesis. We blame everything on them. Right. <laughs> Uh, what do we got next? We got, um, the Prime, Prime updates. Up. Yeah. Do you know anything about these? You've been looking at them? Uh, I haven't really been looking at them. I've noticed some updates on my scanner. Um, it didn't, didn't seem to break anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's always good. Um, I, I know that a lot of people are still kind of complaining about it gets hard to make out, uh, portals, especially in high density areas because of, you know, just the way the graphics work, and, and it's you know, so fancy schmancy um, that they they sometimes say, you know, I just got to go back to redacted just to kind of tell where I'm at. Um, so it seems to be better, right? Um, uh, so I think they have done some work with that, um, but I don't know what all they have done. And and that's uh, I, one of the issues that I, I just like I can't relate to it because it's like I don't have that many dense areas like they're not that dense and you know I, maybe their solution is to make those areas <laughs> less so dense. dense like be careful what you you know wish for sometimes yeah well i honestly i didn't have that problem around here either but when we got to madison you got into the, some of those areas where you know every 15 foot there's a, a plaque or a statue or something and that's a valid portal it, you know it, sometimes it was like I want to start this mission. Oh, God, there's six portals here. Which one is it? Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. You know, and they all start a mission, just not the mission I'm trying to start. Right. So And, and so did the, um, what do they call it, the tap thing where it pops up the things so you can choose between them? Does, does that help at all? Yeah. This ambiguation does seem to be working. I, yeah, I am seeing now that when you click in it, it'll spread out and you'll see, oh, here's one and here's the other one. Um, so... Yeah, if you click and it, they're really close, it'll do that disambiguation thing, and you can kind of choose between the two. But if you've got that and, like, a, a cap and a key, it just gets... Which, you know, yeah. I'm sure is that way in, in Redacted as well. Yeah. Yeah, at some point... It, it's some of the things I see aren't always just uh, a prime issue. It's like, this is kind of happening in both games kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I know there was a. I didn't put this in the show notes, but I know there was a a letter to Niantic that was going around about Prime and, and what needed to change in it. And honestly, like some of the things in it, I was just like, these are really not concerns. Like these, yeah. a some of them you know they're going to take care of along the way, but like I couldn't sign it. Like the options mm. to signing it were basically like you support this, you support the people, even though. And I'm just like signing it. I'm assuming that they're just going to send the letter with how many people signed it to Niantic. Yeah. And I like I don't want my number on that because I I don't, I don't think it's as bad as a lot of people do. But I've been no. I guess I've been using it for a while now. Yeah, I I think I'm getting more used to it. I mean, I only crashed what three or four times during the anomaly, <laughs> right. so it's it's better than it was. Uh, and uh, that's that's really hard because I mean you start redacting up it's bulletproof. I can't remember the last time that redacted you know weirded out for you know a problem that it caused. Now my phone may cause a problem. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and it just it's just you know the the life cycle of software. You know that you know yeah. as you go at it more and more, it becomes more reliable and becomes more you know responsive and quicker. And it just takes time to do that kind of stuff. But I'm like yeah. you. I, I looked at all those things on that letter. I was like, well, these were just basically bugs, and I'm sure that they're on that bug list that they're working on in most cases. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think one of the things that will help them the most is more people using it. Mm -hmm. It was it was during the weekend. Uh, I was with some friends playing, and some issues came up because they were using Prime, and it was kind of easy to see, oh, well, this is happening every time X is we're doing X. And so we actually kind of figured out why something was happening. Whereas when you're just kind of doing it on your own, it's going to take so much longer to figure out that yeah. why that's not working. And so if more and more people are using it and being able to submit, Hey, this is when this is happening to me, yeah. they can narrow down those bugs and fix them much faster. And we'll all benefit from that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's being in, t in uh, support 
know, you just hate to come in and somebody says it's busted. Well, what's the matter with it? Well, it doesn't do that. <laughs> you know, well, what did you do? You know, and it takes you five minutes to draw out of what what they did before, you know, that happened. And when you usually do that, you're like, oh, well, you forgot to do this first or something. Yeah. So yeah, I'm sure that there's a lot of people that you know just want to complain about it doesn't work, and not give them all the information they need to troubleshoot the problem. Yeah. And then there's the group that that make the complaints that were complaints, you know, six months ago that have all been fixed. Yeah. And you're like, like, I can't argue with you if you're not actually using it today. Like, I, like it was really bad at one point and yeah, it's been it getting better. I, there was a number of people at the anomaly that, you know, when they shut it off, that shut redacted off, uh, what was it a week ago or so, um, that they're like, oh, I had to fire up redacted. I, I had to fire up prime. And they said, and it updated. And said, oh, it's, it's a lot better than it was. I'm like, yeah, if you keep trying it, it's going to get better and better. But they're one of those, like you said, those people that tried it once, like, oh, this is crap. You know, shut it off and go back to redacted. Yeah, yeah. And and I'll, I'll keep repeating this every show. Give it a month. Play it a month without opening up redacted. Even yeah. when you want to open up redacted, don't do it. Just sync your stuff. It's like learning a new language. Mm-hmm. And the faster you learn just the GUI... The rest kind of dissipates a little bit of the issues, and and yeah. you're because part of the frustration is having to learn something new. Like yeah, and getting that, getting that muscle memory about you know just knowing where stuff is at and doing things like I did missions uh, for the first time with Prime, and I'm I'm literally in downtown Madison cussing where the hell is this at? You know? I can't <laughs> figure out how to do it, but you know once I figured it out, it wasn't bad, and I was really tempted to go back to redacted because I know how it works there. But I told myself, hey, I'm going to do Prime in Madison. And I did Redacted in Chicago. And, uh, and it really wasn't that bad. Yeah, I had a couple of times that it crashed. Uh, but there's some things that you can do that are quicker. So Yeah. Then there's a new feature for missions that I don't know if a lot of people know about. But you can actually, normally in Redacted, if you start a mission and you get to a point where you want to pause it, like you just always have that thing sitting on your screen telling you where that mission portal is the next one. In, in Prime, you can actually turn that notification off so it goes away and you don't see it. And uh, I, oh, which it was one of the last anomalies. We were doing a mission and we got to the last portal and I missed it. Everybody else got it and I didn't want to go, hey, you know, let's go back and get that. Uh, so I turned it off and instead of leaving the mission and forgot about it until the next day during mission day, and when I was like, why aren't these, I was like, oh, I turned that off. So I turned it back on and I happened to be like right next to that portal. And I was like, ding, got the, you were lucky got the there. mission. It'd have been my luck. I'd be all the way at home and be like, oh, crap. Right. It's still showing up. Uh, so, that, you know, they, they keep adding in new things. And uh, so right now we've got uh, version 2.27, which was a big UI update. And then 27.3, they fixed a waypoint uh, portals selection issue in um, missions, I guess. That was yeah. a missions issue, I believe. And then they're going to pause the releases right now. So 2.28 is actually going to roll into 2.29, which we'll see in a couple weeks. Normally, we would see it right around this week, I guess. Uh, but they want to give well, a little more QA love to yeah, it. I'm sure Nemesis is in there messing with it. they got to get them out. <laughs> right. They're like, oh yeah, what did we do for the? Let's fix that. So hopefully, hopefully Nemesis doesn't cause any issues, or they may get a strike. Oh yeah, well, can you ban Nemesis? Why don't we do that? We'll just be done with it. <laughs> do you think they've gotten a warning yet? Uh, no, <laughs> I think they give warnings. Right. Well, in the upcoming changes to the uh, policy enforcement that Niantic Labs has, they issued out new policies which will be a three strike system so the first strike you'll get a warning and then you'll have to i believe for seven days confirm in prime right because you will lose your access to redacted you will have to uh, basically confirm that you saw this notice for uh, seven days something like that and then if you continue to cheat you'll get us 30 day suspension or around 30 day suspension they say so could be more i guess could be less depending on it's when fair. the day falls if they've got to go in the office oh That's get a sunday off the heck with that guy yeah one more day for you <laughs> and then on the third strike you will be terminated from ingress 
and uh, then you won't have to worry about uh, Prime anymore. So, yeah. uh, have to go play Pokey or, or Wizards. Yeah, if they don't ban you from that. Yeah, yeah maybe they just strike you across everything. <laughs> and uh, that's just, well, it's not really the tip of the iceberg, but they did make a stipulation that that it doesn't require three strikes to get terminated. If your offense is bad enough, they will terminate you immediately. Now, I know that you have to uh, use Prime to say that you acknowledge the message. Did they say that they would that message would show up in Redacted? So if you're a Redacted-only player and you did something? They, they said it only works in Prime, the messages. So... Because it's those pop-ups... Yeah, it could be the possibility that if you screw up bad and redacted, and you only are a redacted player, you may not. Well, I'm sure they probably send you an email. Right, right, and it'll say. Uh, and I've seen um, a couple of emails. Like the first one was like, "You, you're accessed for zero days or whatever. Like you're suspended for zero yeah, days is the days. warning." Um, so you would get the email and then have to download Prime, I guess, if you didn't already have it. That sounds so, good. I mean, it moves them, moves them way. I wonder if that means that there's more trouble, quote unquote, with uh, redacted players spoofing and that kind of stuff. Which I, I don't, I don't see how that would. Well, probably. I, I feel like there's something in, in the code in Unity that they can keep track of something mm -hmm. easier. Yeah. I don't know what it is. If it's something like IMEI numbers or something or some kind of cell based like direct link yeah but I, and it's location the GPS something along those lines yeah maybe it's maybe they get a more accurate location so if they think someone's multi accounting they can see no those phones are in the exact same spot they weren't like <laughs> someone sitting in the car seat next to you or something yeah but I I kind of found it odd that they they announced this after they kind of went through and did that one, that first kind of wave of uh, hitting uh, backpack accounts, I guess. Uh, it seems like maybe they should have flipped that, instituted this, and then hit that, and then you could test how the system works. Yeah. Well, it could have been, you know, that they went through and did all those, and then they, they had a bunch of, you know, false positives, so to say, and they said, oh, okay, well, the, this one okay, well, we screwed up on this one. They're like, okay, we can't just suspend people like we have been. We need to have a gradual system. Yeah. And so let's put this in place so that, you know, when we do screw up, we have the ability to kind of back off of it. Yeah. And, it, yeah, I wonder if they should go back and, like, unban those accounts and then run them through this or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure somebody's going to say that. It's like, hey, you, you banned me. You know, wouldn't that suck to be banned? The day before they started this, <laughs> right? They're like, but, uh, uh, you know, I guess the the big thing is uh, just don't cheat. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, well, we had no, a, for uh, the most part. <laughs> for the most part, we had it. We had an agent that uh, had his account uh, deactivated just before the anomaly oh. because of his name. Um, he's from Penn State, and they, they have a saying that Penn is mightier, but the way he put it in is mm. P E N N I S M. I G H and they're like oh, it looks like penis so uh, they <laughs> I guess they panned his name and so he he had to do a little fighting to say no 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 it's just I'm from Penn State and so I don't know whether yeah. he got it back in time or not but he was, he was kind of ticked I yeah that seems like I would be ticked about that too I mean yeah because it a you could do it in a way where you're intentionally doing that yeah. like like Penn Island right famous pen store to go buy some pins. <laughs> um, but you could just do it completely oblivious to the fact that it that it even um, forms some word. Yeah. But would wouldn't it be better if they just made it where you had to pick a new name, like like almost yeah. if you started over, like yeah, or ask for a name change? Name. Go on with it, yeah. And maybe that's what they ended up doing. I don't know. I just saw his complaints. <laughs> so and and you talked about this earlier. The scanner redacted was down on Ooh. July 19th Dang, for 24 hours, and the shock was felt around the world by redacted players. I wonder how many people stayed on Prime or just didn't open the 
app that day? Uh, I had a couple of people said, you know, that while they were in the middle of a hacking streak, they're like, oh, so I had to download it and get it going. Um, but there are a couple of the older players that are like, you know, I just didn't even play. You know, they're, they're, and I don't know whether they're level 16 players that are, you know, thinking about retiring anyway or something, but, you know, they're like, hey, when Redacted goes out, I'm going to go with it. You know, unless it's, you know, some sort of change that can make, uh, this UI closer to what Redacted is, and you know it's not all fancy schmancy and you know, just plain simple. It works quick, and that was their complaint. You know that there's sometimes that you know when you do a hack or you do a deploy or you do a hack, especially in Prime, you get that little extra window. Right? You got to do that extra close and stuff like that. And I'm sure those are things that over time they'll they'll adjust it and make it better. I noticed they they moved a couple of things in the last uh, for updates. To get it out of the field of play. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The UI update one was really good, and and my big concern about that was that like all these people who are starting using Prime, if they completely change stuff so much that it felt like you were having to relearn it again, that it could really mess yeah. things up. And they and they didn't honestly. Like I almost didn't if even didn't, notice. Yeah, unless you knew what you were looking for. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't notice it much at all yeah and it, and it felt good so hopefully because that's one of the ones i am hearing a lot is the the pop-up windows uh, especially after hacking the battery life the um uh, heating up the starting up time which it can be drastically different uh hopefully they can add in an option i believe i was um, gonna say does redacted have an option that you can bypass the intro movie thing I don't think it does I don't think so but they have something in the Harry Potter game where you can bypass part of it yeah. so I don't know if, if that's something they can add or you know maybe you can just do the see like it's two things like one is like it could be still loading up all that data in the background and the logo yeah. and stuff is just kind of buying them time mm -hmm. so it's like even if it bypassed the logo but you're just looking at a a blank screen because I mean they could do that right just show you the map and yeah, the portal still take the same amount of time to load up or just have it spinning and they, they seem to have a, a new uh, busy uh, animation it's got kind of the triangle field and then it kind of goes away so they could just let that spin but yeah I, I bet you're right it's it's it seems like there's a little bit more loading and uh, it's doing more in the background especially you know, I I notice it a lot in low cell areas you know there's there's some areas you get into that I know I can do this in Redacted. You boot up Prime and it's just, it chugs and it never starts. You're like, okay, I'm going to have to do this in Redacted. Yeah. So uh, that, that'll that be kind of interesting once Redacted goes away, those portals that are still there, but, you know, you really can't get to it because Redacted worked and Prime didn't. But, you know, they'll probably make it better and, and get it to where that works. Yeah, hopefully, because they did add in a new feature for portal submissions where you can actually submit them up to 25 kilometers away so people will be able to submit stuff in dead zones easier yeah that'll, that'll be interesting not sure how many people will you know put portals that you can't get to right <laughs> hopefully a lot I like yeah, those yeah. well they make great durables at night for an anchor so as long as you got one key you just Dupe the heck out of it. You're all right. So Ro Rock Eddie uh, 33 made a uh, comment in the chat room that's interesting because I have a, a friend at work who plays Pokemon Go and he's been talking about this event going on with Team Rocket where it's, they've taken over some portals basically and you fight them instead. I I don't really know because I haven't I've been playing Harry Potter instead of Pokemon Go in my I can only play two games at once, <laughs> so it's like. Eh. Anyway, uh, he made a point that said uh, someone was saying that Nemesis was going to do the same thing as Team Rocket and take over portals. So that'll be interesting, and I wonder if this will have to be in September. Like, is that why the field things are waiting till September? Because they need they Redacted need to, to be gone. Be gone before they can do it. That's possible. That's possible. I, you know, there, there's so many things they can do with, with the, the storyline now that they've kind of got rid of all the things that they were wrapping up 
and now they're just starting all these new things. So, you know, I've seen uh, alphabets. I, do, have you seen that really freaky uh, video that Nemesis, and they're talking about that Redacted was taken down? It was us. Uh, so, yeah. So it looks like they're starting a whole new storyline, I guess you could say. And so it'll be interesting to see how it develops. Um, I also heard that some people are saying that some of the stuff from the anime kind of plays into the things that we're seeing here. So uh, if you are familiar with what's going on in the anime, it might give you some clues as to what's going on with Nemesis. Don't know. I haven't seen the anime mm-hmm. enough to, to know. Uh, I'll have to watch it again with that in mind. Yeah. I was happy to see when I loaded up, though this could just be my Netflix, but when I loaded it up, they have like a, a banner where they show like their their stuff and it's much larger than like the other panels and ingress the animation was actually in one of those big panels i was like oh that's good maybe they're promoting it or maybe it's just me but no uh, it just makes sense for them to cross you know cross faction and cross games with all their stuff uh because you know you get that guy that's a level 16 ingressor and he's like or level play 16 he's like oh, i'm getting tired of this what else can i do well, keep them in their pocket you'll get them playing go or, or get them playing wizards or something like that yeah so wonderful to see some cross game events besides just clothes and stuff i i think it'd be great it'd be uh you know ingress against pokemon and uh see how that works <laughs> also with nemesis there's new glyphs in the scanner so far, yet? I have not seen any yet. No, I haven't either. I haven't been long hacking uh, this week, though. Yeah, but I was surprised because I was doing a lot of farming and I was doing hacking, but you know, I, I suck at, at glyphing anyway. But uh, I don't think I saw any of the new ones. Now I know some of the other uh, people in our cell, and, and of course, a number of people at the uh, anomaly said, "Yeah, they've they've seen them," and you know, a couple of them are like something's wrong with my scanner. What what the hell was that? Uh, uh. And what was going on? There's a couple of them look like they could be a little difficult. Uh, yeah. I, I think, uh, like, Star looks like one that... It seems like it might take a long time because there's a lot of doubling back. Yeah. But I think once you kind of figure that out, it won't be hard. It'll just be time-intensive. Yeah. Nemesis looks like it could be a tough one to do. And then there's, kind of a, there's a key, shield, link, field, and star. And, and I'm just wondering if the the names are important, that now they're going to start, quote-unquote, telling the story uh, through the glyph hacks. And so they needed, they needed a little more vocabulary. Right. So they added these in there. Which uh, that that can give you a lot to the story, you know, with keys and shields and links and fields, and maybe they're going to start telling me, you know, go field now or something like that. The voices in my head are telling me I must go back. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there was there was one glyph sentence that, um, oh, what was it? Anyway, it was something basically think before you link kind of thing. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you can cause chaos if you don't think before. Uh, linking you can cause chaos, Link something like that. Cause chaos. Yeah, I can see that happening. Uh, and so, uh, now, is is the Osiris glyph still out? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't heard anything about that one. I want, don't know if they retire any of them. Yeah, that would be interesting to see. Let us know if if you're still getting Osiris, if you're still seeing it. I I haven't actually seen it yet. So. No. Well, like I said, I. I haven't seen any of them. Not to say they're not out there a lot. And then all this could be from the new senior producer. Oh, that's right. For Ingress and Niantic Labs, which is Brian Rose, who was a community manager at one point. I think that he was uh, actually on the Google team and uh, when the original development and then stayed with Google when Niantic split off. And now he's come back to home, so to say. I think. No, that that sounds right because he was with Google, 
I just saw I saw a post somewhere where someone mentioned that he used to be a community manager. So I don't know if he was the community manager, you know, for Ingress while they were with Google yeah. uh, or not. But uh, it'll be cool to see what he has in store. Yeah. What's it take to tell you to quit your job at Google? <laughs> right. <laughs> you got to really love the game, I guess. Uh, it's a great game. And then before we get to the anomaly, I did want to mention that there is a new, or Niantic reopened their shop. I don't know if you saw this. Yeah. Had some uh, myriad gear in it. Yep. And I did notice there's some new tabs in the shop. One for Niantic gear and one for Pokemon Go gear. Which I don't know if Team Pokemon knows that. They're... Well, I me... wonder if it, in the Pokemon stuff, if there's an, you know, an ingress tab. And, and it's probably a way to introduce those players to a game that they may not you know, think about. I mean, you and I and the people that we run around with, we all know what Pokemon Go is and Wizards, but mm -hmm. you get that lone wolf that's been out there, you know, discovered Ingress, and that's all he plays, and he may not be familiar with those as much, and then here it is in the store. It's like, oh, that looks kind of neat. Yeah. And draw into that. Yeah, and, they, and it may be the store. Like, this may now just be the Niantic that's store. True. For everything. For Yeah, for everything. Because I don't even know if, um, like, does Pokemon Go have a website like Ingress? I don't know. There's a Poke player out there. I'm sure they'll tell us. Right. Okay, so what everybody has come here for tonight, including Dewey J, Myriad, you were there. You were on the streets. I was sweating my cojones off, but yes, I was there. Now, we do have to preface this with uh, Myriad goes to the Enlightened 5-3 yeah, to yeah. We, overall. We won. Yeah, we won the battle. We lost the war. I know. I, I will say, wherever I go, we win. I can only say that because I've only been two places. But <laughs> that's like I have a friend. With, so far, the anomalies he's gone to, we've lost. So we're like, you can't go anymore. Can't go. Well, what you do is you get him to flip, and then right. <laughs> and then he starts winning. Son of a. Uh, damn it. So how was it? Tell me about it. Uh. You know, it was kind of strange. Um, you know, comparing it from Chicago to Madison, I, one of the first things that was kind of different was you didn't have that mission control where you, you know, you're in line and you're getting registered and stuff like that. And um, it, I think you lost a little bit of cross faction stuff because I saw a lot of, you know, enlightened players in Chicago, and that was the only place that I saw them. And of course, when they had the uh, announcement; they were all on that one side of the room, and I wasn't there because I figured we'd lost um but i think it kind of cut down a little bit on the cross faction you know seeing friends and that yeah. kind of stuff and this is because they stopped the check-in completely right you just yeah, do it right. in your you, by hacking the portal and by, getting well a yeah you have to hack you have to hack 13 portals uh during the anomaly window. okay um and uh, but there was a little discussion you know do you have to hack the same one third time and 13 different ones i'm like you know if you're there for four hours and you're hacking one portal 13 times, you really don't deserve a badge. Right. So, you know, if you can get 13 different ones, you're all right. Um, so, yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see what the turnaround time will be for, like, the anomaly badge and, and those kind of things, uh, whether that's going to be easier for them uh, because they've got the pre-registration stuff um, and then the 13 hacks. Uh, but, yeah, so that was a little different. It, it, there was no real start place or home base uh, so for that. People who did they have like um, the packs with like stickers and pins and stuff for these, or just no swag at all for? Uh, no, I, I didn't see any Niantic swag. Now we did. We had like a pre party for for uh, res, and you know we of course had a res stuff and that kind of stuff. Right. But I don't think I saw any any of the uh, stuff for Niantic. But I'm sh it, it could have been. I was, wasn't really was was NL one three three one there. Nope. No, didn't see the van. So were were any Niantic employees there? Like, I'm wondering if, like, now can they just run anomalies, just uh, picking uh, the zone and letting it go? I, I there might have been. I think there was two guys that I I don't know the Niantic employees enough, but I think there might have been one or two there. I didn't see Andrew. If I knew Andrew, we'd be all right. But uh, uh, I I don't know if there was or not. To tell you the truth, Interesting. Um, there, there was nobody that that said I'm Niantic and you know I'm in charge or anything that right. like you had in Chicago okay so yeah it might be that it's it's more of a local run thing 
And I will say that the the uh, uh, both teams did a good job in Madison. Um, we didn't have anybody get hit by a car that we know of. Uh, <laughs> so Hank wasn't there. No, Hank wasn't there. Okay. <laughs> well, one of the Hanks wasn't there. No, both <laughs> the Hanks were there. Uh, they had cars out and they were you know looking for people. Hey, do you need water? Do you need somebody? You know, relief station and stuff like that. So they did a real good job on on security or not security, but safety uh, and that kind of stuff. Um, there was a kind of a different play box also. Uh, the play box was kind of a split box. It was long and narrow, um, but there was kind of a dead zone down the zero, uh, down the middle. Um, so the west end of it was the university, and of course that was pretty dense portals. Mm -hmm. And on the east end was around the state capitals. So that's pretty uh, dense as well. And down the middle was kind of like no man's land. There was there wasn't whole much a whole lot there. So he saw a couple of people are like, oh, I'm going to do this side. I'll catch an Uber, go downtown and do that side. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a little bit different. And I think it allowed them to kind of split up their teams a little bit. You know, you guys do this half and we're going to do this half. Um, and that way it may have made it easier for people to stay in their area that they were supposed to. Uh, I know I didn't wander off as much, but uh, I think that's another <laughs> story. <laughs> um, the rules were a lot like the rules for Chicago. Uh, they had three simultaneous games. Um, they were running uh, shards. Uh, and the shard game was a little bit different uh, in that there wasn't a target portal. They had what they called a research node. Okay. So you had you had a number of research nodes around. And uh, when a shard showed up, if, as long as you got to pass through that research node, you got a score. So it wasn't like it hit there and it stayed. It would stay, it would hit there, and then it may jump. And if you can get it to jump to another one of your research portals, it'd score again. Okay. So it's like uh, it's multiple targets that they can Yeah, multiple hit. targets. You know, okay. if it circled back to the same one, it didn't count. So that made it a little bit different. Than the, you know, if you saw that you had a shard that was on one of your uh, research nodes, you wanted to make sure that there was a link for it to get out. And hopefully it was another research node to keep it alive so it can go on and score again. Nice. Um, so you had that. Uh, there was the link length or link snake uh, where you had a specially indicated uh, start portal and then you tried to do connected links from that and so right. each time that you got another link it was worth more uh, the scoring on that was the the ones that were further counted more so if you had let's say you had three links and they were all one meter well that first one's one times one one next one's is the second one so it's one times two you get two and the next one's one times three you get three so, you know, if you could get those last links to be longer, you could score more. Uh, right. I, that was, I, I didn't, clearly couldn't wrap my head around that one. I'm sure there was some hour being that could. It wasn't me. Uh, okay. <laughs> but. Uh, you, were see, and, you were seeing links flying through the zone, though? Or, yeah, yeah, we're seeing links flying through. And, and I don't know if it's just, if it's what frogs do or, uh, you know, it's, it's, as soon as they, you know, blew the whistle, here comes a link star. We're like, oh, crap, let's go. Kill that green link star, and then we would start playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those uh, crazy frogs! Dang frogs! Um, but yeah, that they. I think that each team had a you know a, an idea on how to do that and how to get them to link to go. Um, and those were scored in each one of the measurements. So there was nine measurements. I think it was twenty minutes per. Um, so you took the highest score for one of those. So if your team's really watching what's going on. And you see, we've got a real high peak, say, in uh, shards. Okay. Well, we can kind of back off of shards now, and let's put our our money, so to say, and our effort into the link snake. Right. Uh, and we'll try to get the points out of that. Um, 100 points on each one of those that's split for by each team. So it's not winner takes all. It's it's the percentage that you get out of it. And, of course, then you had the uh, uh, unique portal hack. Yeah. Uh, which Which that's... Interesting enough, in Chicago and Madison, I really think that the anomaly came down to that. Uh, I yeah, I, I think any time they have a category that is winner take all, it's it's deceptively not worth as much because it's like oh, it's only worth forty points. Well, really, it's kind of worth eighty points because yeah, yeah, you're keeping forty it. points from the other team as well. Yeah, that's and an 80 it's, point swing. you either get it or you don't. So, it, it, yeah, it's an 80-point swing, which is huge when you consider the other two categories. Typically, you're probably going to go 50-50. I mean, if everything yeah. kind of goes normal. 
So even to me, you that's that, what you focus on. If you don't yeah, win that, you're you're not going to win it probably. Yeah. And even if you're you're a heavy hitter on one of the other two, you might get eighty out of it. Right. So so that now it's down to if they get you know the unit portal hacks, now it's down to that one other event. Um, so yeah, that's that was a a deal that uh, they didn't take everybody's. They threw out the top. 15% and the bottom 15%. Right. And then they averaged all the people that was in there. So uh, it really doesn't matter so much how many agents you have on the ground. Uh, it's that average. So as long as everybody's doing all hacks, uh, you should do rather well. And, and there was something that, that kind of, um, I think may have skewed that a little bit. And I think it, I think it was news is uh, Ruck the Box. So they had, they had Ruck. Like they usually do, right? And then they had then they had ruck the box. So in this case, they had agents uh, that were in teams uh, with a backpack or a rucksack. And I think they had a ten pound weight, and then they were they were on the move all the time. Um, right. I think their I think their target was like six kilometers, and in that heat, six kilometers with ten pound weight was was a toughie. Oh yeah. But, but they were always moving. So all those guys on those teams are are scoring well in you know, unique portal hacks. And uh, was that a, a ruck thing, or was that a resistance ruck thing? I think it was a ruck thing. From what okay. I understand, there were there were four teams, and three of them uh, were resistance, and there was one in light. And honestly, that may have been the difference. Um, because when we, we looked at the top 100 uh, scores for unique portal hacks, 25 in the top 100 were in light. The rest of them or uh, resistance, and and right. knowing those people that were on that ruck team, those are the guys that are up near the top. I will have yeah. to concede that the top hacker was a frog, but I take yeah. a little solace in knowing that they throw out the top fifteen, and they throw out the bottom fifteen, so he really didn't make a big difference. Right. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I I think if if you're looking at a, at a, an anomaly that has another ruck the box and another unique portal hacks. You you really need to leverage that because he, uh, like you said, it makes that eighty point delta swing. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah, and and I think it's just it it's a, a sneaker. Like yeah. you don't know who's got what until the end either. Like you can't defend against it. No, so and they don't release those scores out much either till the end. Yeah, I know it was so bad in Chicago that I was like, oh, we've lost this because you know the play box was green all day. It's like, oh, we've lost this. I don't want to be around. I don't want to be. I don't want to have you come by and give me a hard time because I knew that would happen. <laughs> no, <laughs> not I, at all. Not yeah, at all. little did I know it should have been me finding you and giving you a hard time. Right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it was another one of those uh, anomalies where you know, general ownership of a portal doesn't mean much. I mean that that box could have stayed mostly blue all day or mostly green all day, and I don't think it would have really affected it. It's it's more of a strategic ownership. You know, I have to have this research node. I have to have this anchor for a link snake, and I have to have this one that we can go off of it. So it's it's strategically knowing which portals we need to own and which ones we need to kill. Yeah. You know, and, and I spent some time, you know, you know, we'd be going to do something, and it's like, oop, you know, here's a shard, and it's on one of ours. I got to stop, and I just, you know, just keep charging and, and throwing uh, resonators on this and keep it alive. Till it jumps, and then I can go on and do what I need to do. Yeah, uh, and and so. that was a kind of an odd thing with um, this anomaly is no cluster battle. No, yeah, not not a one. Which which I, I think surprised a lot of people uh, that that weren't there were like, oh wait, there's no no cluster battle. That's weird. Uh, it's something that seems to be kind of a staple of anomalies, but I don't know. The last few anomalies I've been to that it really wasn't it's much of a thing anyway. Yeah. Um, just because there was a different kind of control of the, the play box really. And it sounded like a lot more gear was being used in this, this anomaly over the past ones. I don't know if, how, how how did your gear go? (laughs) It's I would think I was overloaded. I mean, I went in with like 1200 L8 bursters. Mm -hmm. So I I was loaded for bear. Cause you know, the last time you asked me what I was doing, so just kill everything green. Um, and I honestly didn't know exactly what I was doing on our team uh, until I got there. And it's like, okay, I'm not going to be killing everything green as much. I'm, I'm more of an offensive team. And I will say, when they said go, 
it was three minutes and I was lost. You know, I was off away from my team and <laughs> killing things left and right. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm supposed to be on our team here. I better find him again. So I think after the second measurement or so, I was back with the team. Um, but yeah, I, I could see you could use more if you were one of those that, you know, you're a strategic strike type group or that you're having to uh, make portals for jumps and things like that. Uh, now, in clusters, was that something that if you had more people, uh, that might give you the edge? Yeah, I, I think definitely since it's it's all about, you know, owning the portals. You know, who yeah. owned, owned, the, owned, owned it? That's not a word. Owned the most portals. Uh, very you much got the points. And, and there would be some portals that were were worth more because they would have an artifact on them that um, yeah. made them worth, I think, three times as much. Yeah. Uh, maybe more the longer into the anomaly it went. So, yeah. It's But it's, then again, it's just a whole nother, like, 100 points divided up between how much, you know, you got that whole time and everything. So I don't know. I think these rules are, are kind of more simplified. I mean, it, it's it's, you know, we link to pink. You know, if you see a, if you see a shard, keep it alive and move it along. Uh, I think the only thing that was kind of complicated might have been like that link snake, uh, but otherwise, it's, you know, it's pretty so, easy to understand. So, what do you think about the the unique hacks being a winner takes all? Do you think it should be split up like the other categories? You know, the two that I'm in, I, I would say that you know we had the advantage, but honestly. I, and I haven't heard the numbers from Madison. Uh, I think the numbers that we heard projected out of Chicago was there were 750 enlightened and 500 uh, resistance, mm -hmm. which that made sense, you know, because I was just anywhere I'd go, you know, we'd start attacking something, there'd be 12 frogs that would show up, and then we'd move. Um, right. I think in Madison we were also outnumbered, but I, it's hard to tell really, yeah. because like I said, we didn't have that cross faction. I only saw a couple of enlightened teams because we were on the move a lot. Um, so I think that it kind of does away with the numbers are going to give you an advantage. Um, so if you split it up, well, I don't know. Yeah, It probably would make it closer. And they're close the way it is. But evidently, you know, you guys won you know, five and we won three. Was that right? Yes. Um, yes. Fine. So, so evidently, your Asian agents uh, understand how to do it very well, and some of your agents in Europe understand how to do it very well. Yeah. Uh, so, so the I, walkers. That's all the everybody's walking a lot. City yeah. life. Yeah, that's what it is. I, I, you know, and I don't, I don't think I saw as many bikes in Madison as I saw in Chicago. But Madison is just, it's just a crazy town. I mean, you're driving around outside of it, it's, it's not a problem. But once you get near the capital, it goes to a spoken wheel system. And, you know, you, you get turned around and you think, oh, I can just go down here and turn left and I'll be on the next block. And then it's like, oh, it doesn't work that way. I got to go to the end of this point and then you're five blocks away. You know, you get lost and then you, you walk for two blocks. Like, oh, there's the capital. So you walk back to the middle. And so you, you kind of down there at the capital, that was different in the just trying to figure out where you're going and how to get from point A to point B. Uh, so that's why I guess they put me on the university side because that's a nice square box <laughs> system and I can figure it out. Do we um, won't get lost down here? Yeah, get lost. He, he can go around the corner. He'll come around back. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know. Splitting it, it'd be interesting to see. Um, I'm sure that they someone has the numbers and they could figure out whether it would make a difference. Um, but yeah, yeah it's, it's like you said, it's that thing that you don't think much about. You think, oh, it's just 40 points. And so teams that are planning know that yeah, this is something that's important and you tell all your agents you got to get all your agents to be hacking all the time because you're losing 30% of, of it you know the top and the bottom so yeah. it's those people in the middle that make the difference and if you've got specialized teams that are, are doing the snake or doing the shards and they're not hacking uh, you know that's going to really damage that 40 points and the 80 yeah. point delta yeah, and, and that's was kind of, I don't know, there's always that, it's like, if there's a category where it's like, you lose by one hack, or one percentage, and you, you lose all the points, it, it's significant, and it's, it's uh, I don't Sucks. know, 
yeah, it just it, I I don't know if I I think I think it's inherently because of the percentages fair towards how many ever people are there. I think it's probably more fair than any of the other um items, right? Because if you have the numbers, you should be able to control the play box and then be able to control you know the the research nodes and where you need to link and that sort of thing if you have the numbers well and and i think the opposite is true if you have a lot of agents on your team then you have to make sure they're all doing their job and if you got fewer you know it's like herd and catch you get you, you know you can do a couple but when you get more you got to make sure that all those agents are are getting their hacks in and so yeah. they'll pull you down if they, if they don't you know you got those beer grass agents that you know come in get my 13 hacks and go sit in the air conditioning Right, there's, like there's your fifteen percent, right? Yeah, there's your fifteen percent. So if you have twenty percent of them doing that, that's that's a that's a could be a real problem. Right, but it seems other, like the more people you have, the more leeway you would have with that. Yeah, you should. I don't know. The other um, thing we we uh, we talked a little bit about was uh, recharge rooms, um, and I'm sure that that's a difference in in the recharge rooms because it might make them a little more effective since they're seeing what they need to keep alive. I, I don't know about the response time, but you know, it's a little little clearer to what they may have to keep alive. You know, here's a here's a node for a uh, a shard. We need to make sure that it stays alive till it jumps and those kind of things. Uh, yeah. So you could tell your people in the recharge rooms, hey, here's what you're looking for, and if it's our color, just keep it alive. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've never heard of those things. <laughs> so Resistance has rooms where they recharge things? Like batteries? Yeah, they, bring, they bring their batteries in and you recharge it. And uh, well, I mean, I can definitely see if you run out of power. I mean, you're not hacking anything or making any leaks. So, so that's good. Yeah. Now, are recharge rooms, are they, uh, are they legal? Uh, yeah, I guess. I from, I, I did, from what I hear, they do give badges. So. Yeah, they do give badges. And, and the nice thing is, in a recharge room, that you are sitting in the air conditioning, and you're usually drinking beer, which I think tends to make a recharge room less effective as it goes. But uh, you know, uh, I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I, I think that that, like you said, that forty point swing, eighty point swing, really, and rock the box. I think those are the two things that really kind of made the difference there, at least in uh, Madison. I don't know about the other places that somebody could probably tell us. Yeah. Um, yeah it'd be nice to get um, information about all, all the sites and, and see. I mean, but that's the stuff that no one's going to give out, right? You know, because it's, it's so yeah. OPSEC. It's like, hey, yeah, come tell us, you know, what did y'all do over there? How did it go? It's like, well, I'm not even going to put it out, right? Like, if it's the enlightened strategy, I'm not about to put it out on the air. I, I, I want to have I, friends still. Yeah. So. And I, honestly, I, there's a couple things over here tonight. I'm like, well, do I really want to say anything about this? And I'm like, well, it's, it's just plain common sense, you know. If you're yeah. looking at the person, how you follow it, and stuff like that. And there are yeah. a few things that I kept to myself. And I will say that smart. Too. Yeah. I will say that that our, our Smurf OPSEC are pretty good because you know we have people that complain about. It. I don't know what I'm doing. They're like, don't worry about it. We'll tell you what to do when it's time to do it. Yeah, and, and you know they were they were a lot nicer about it like that. You know, yeah. local control and that kind of stuff. But you know, it's I think that 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 made it so that you didn't have to worry about OPSEC because <laughs> there's nothing to give away. Right, right. It's like I don't want to give away the wrong stuff. I mean, I know I kind of look at it like football teams, right? Like you pretty much know the offense and the defense. Sure, you're not going to give the playbook to the other team, and you're yeah. not going to tell like this and that. But there's some of it just people know, and they're going to know, and yeah. y you don't have to worry about that stuff. Everybody does it. Everybody knows it. But there are things that it, you know, it's like you, you do have people that will say, "Don't talk about any of this," even if, yeah. even though. In my head, I'm like, everybody does this. Everybody knows the general this or that, but it's like, I'm not going to go against 
what I've been told to do in that yeah, aspect. Right. You know what I mean? So, sure. and I'm sure um, that the last the last couple have been probably Chicago, especially because I wasn't Chicago the first one that kind of used the new rules for for uh, uh, anomalies with you know the different. Unique portal hacks and, and that kind of stuff. Um, they had unique uh, the series, yeah, for the yeah. the whole series, yeah, the artifacts yeah. and the unique hacks. And it's I'm so bad. glad artifacts disappeared in this one. So yeah, so so those older opsec and and you know operators that have been around forever, like yo, I've done all kinds of anomalies, I know how to do them. Well, now you have a whole new set of rules, so to say. Yeah. And these things, these things make a little more difference. So it's forcing those guys to make some changes. Yeah. Whereas, whereas you might have been having, you know, maybe an operator somewhere else that was telling people what to do, and now you may not be able to do that. Like a Bell South operator? I don't, I don't yeah. know these yeah. words you keep saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it's um, hey, that's pretty much an hour or more, and yeah. uh, I so appreciate. You coming on the show tonight and telling us about Myriad as as and Madison? Do any post production and make me green. <laughs> I'm good with this. <laughs> oh no, would never, never think about doing that. Make Dewey dance right here. No, but uh, we're we're. I don't know when the next show is going to be. Honestly, just, just I don't even know where it falls on the calendar. I could look it up. That would be like the fifth. Is that right? Something like that. So keep an eye on the tweeters and the uh, telegrams and and probably don't have to look at Facebook. But, hey, go there anyway and sign up to the page. We'll do something one day. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm going to preface this uh, with saying this is not on the site yet, so I'm sorry. JBJ, uh, the badge is not live yet. It's been a busy week. I will get it live tonight, so it'll be there tomorrow. But the badge for this episode, when it airs, it goes live, will be AA Dewey J AA. Ah. So you'll get a badge for this episode. Thank you. Thank you. I might be able to remember that one. <laughs> and come back next week or next show. We're going to try to have one next week. I. I think if, I don't know, well, don't leave. I'm going to say bye here, but don't hang up, Dewey J, because I want to talk to you okay. after the show. But anyway, um, did you want to say anything before we hang up? Uh, with this has been great. Um, I think that I probably didn't give away too much OPSEC and uh, brought a little balance to the force here. And, and I do appreciate that I didn't hear a frog ribbit the entire time. Here comes a frog ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think this has been fun, and, and uh, uh, yeah, like you said, we still got stuff that we could be talking about. So we we got stuff for the next time. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure there'll be stuff that'll happen. I'm sure Nemesis will throw us some sort of curve, and we'll have to figure out what the heck's going on there. Yeah, I need to go out and make some uh, fives or sixes or sevens, whatever I can do by myself. Sixes. What's the math with four oh. sixes and two eights and two sevens? Anyway. Uh. Is that a six? Yeah, at least a six. Okay. Because yeah, I know you can make a five by yourself, so I just assume yeah. a six. Maybe a seven. Who knows? So, thanks again, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye for now. Bye.